What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be doing the first part of our two-part review with Stefan Effenberg and Franz Beckenbauer. We're going to be looking at Effenberg today guys in that cam position. I do have him in a 4-3-3, fourth variation team, a German team. Uh, Effenberg was known nationally for the German team as well as Bayern and several other German clubs. Guys, he is a brick wall in the center. He's very, very, very strong, and I like how he played. I will get into later about his flexibility in the midfield um, and the roles that he can take on. He definitely can take on different roles. It just depends on where you can fit him into your team uh, the best. Uh, but we're now go ahead, guys. We're going to go ahead and take a look at his face card stats. 74 pace, 82 shot. 82 passing, 80 dribbling, 74 defense, and 85 physical. He also has a four-star weak foot, three-star skill moves, guys, and a medium-high work rate. In the six games I played, he had seven goals and one assist, way more than I actually thought he has. And as you can see, look at his face card stats, guys. Those are pretty good defensive stats, physical and defense for a cam, and this is why I believe that he can play pretty much anywhere in the midfield, and Effenberg is definitely valuable for any team, and I definitely would recommend giving him a try. I'm born now, guys, going to go ahead and get into the in-game stats, and then his highlights with pros and cons right after that. So let's go ahead, guys, and take a look at Effenberg's in-game stats. 82 aggression, 86 interceptions, 85 vision, 88 reactions, 89 stamina, and 85 strength. He also has 84 ball control, 84 long passing, 86 long shots, 90 penalties, 87 short pass, and 87 shot power with a 4-star weak foot, 3-star skill moves, and that medium-high work rate. He also has a tactician speciality and a long passer trait. Guys, this guy is an absolute beast in the midfield position. So we're going to go ahead, guys, and take a look at some highlights and get right into Stefan Effenberg's pros and cons. My first pro for this card is Effenberg's strength. Effenberg's original card is a cam, but I definitely think with Effenberg's strength, he can play anywhere from cam to CDM. And honestly, with a decent cam, you might even be better off putting him at CDM. Uh, Effenberg is tough to win off the ball and does a great job of holding off defenders. He can definitely be a bully at times, uh, which you'll see in this video, which makes him great for any midfield position. Uh, my second pro for Effenberg, guys, is his shooting. Seven goals in six games honestly surprised me. Uh, Effensburg shot is powerful, and he definitely knows how to find uh, that upper corner, um, where it's definitely hard for a goalie to save. And Effenberg finds that right there, just like that. Holy cow, what a goal. Um, but I wouldn't say he's the best shooting legend um, that I played with on this game, yet he definitely knows how to put it in the back of the net. My third pro for Effenberg is his passing, an obvious trait needed for any midfielder. Um, as you saw in his face card stats, there are none that really, really stick out. Um, but let me tell you, his stats play way better than his card shows. Um, Effenberg's strength allows him to hold up play, uh, which makes him great at being at the center of the team's passing. And as you'll see in the highlights, uh, Effenberg is involved in a lot of give and goes um, that build up team play. And he just kind of finds everyone where they need to be. And he gets right back into position to where he can supply them or take a shot on goal. Now I do have one con for Effenberg. And that is his pace. And to be quite honest, it isn't a huge deal that he isn't the fastest. Uh, Effenberg is able to use his strength to hold up play. I just wouldn't really expect him to outrun any defenders. And I think this is why Effenberg may be better off in a more central midfield uh, position. Maybe even a central defensive midfield position. Um, Effenberg's lack of pace is bad for an attacking midfielder, um, but as a center, uh, central midfielder, I think that it may just get by. Um, but as you'll see in the video, um, when he was breaking away, I was sort of uh, forced to take a long shot with him. Otherwise, the defenders uh, probably would have caught up to me. But this is now going to take me into the overall summary of Stefan Effenberg, guys. And I believe that out of a 10 scale rating, he deserves an 8.4 out of 10. A solid midfielder, Effenberg combines his strength, shooting, and passing to make for a great midfielder. Uh, one that can play any role from cam to CDM. He definitely can fit into anyone's team. And like I said earlier, his seven goals and assists in six games were surprising to me, as I really didn't envision him scoring that many goals, um, but more as of a tempo, tempo controller uh, who set up his teammates, which he did as well. Uh, his pros and cons are listed as well as the goals and assists I had 
in the games played. So up next in reviews, guys, uh, we have a second part of the double review with a German legend, uh, Franz Beckenbauer. I'm super excited uh, to do his review, and you will see that I got quite the deal on him, um, which has allotted me a little bit more coin um, after selling him. And we're coming up on the tail end of these legends, guys. And it looks like I'm only not going to be able to afford uh, two of them, which is Pele and Hullet. If you guys are lucky enough to have one of these guys on your account um, and you want to help me achieve my goal of doing every single legend, um, I would love to do a review on them. And I would, I would forever be in debt, <laughs> and I definitely appreciate it, guys. So you can always DM me on Twitter um, if you're feeling generous. As always, guys, feedback is appreciated. If you're feeling crazy, hit that like or subscribe button. Um, I appreciate you guys checking out this review. And until next time, I will talk to you later.